Okay, so welcome to our recorded lecture for accounting for notes payable. Okay, notes payable is a written uh, promissory note. Okay, when uh, someone has asked for credit, they can use this uh, as a way to document um, the transaction. And whenever there will be cash uh, or cases in collection of debt, this can be used as part of the uh, legal actions to be made. And notes payable usually will have interest, or we call it borrowing costs. And the uh, notes payable commonly is payable within a year, so it's classified as a current liability. So we will have illustrations on notes payable on the next slide. Okay, so to illustrate, we have the accounting for notes payable here. Assume that West State Bank agrees to lend $100,000 on uh, 1st May, March 2019. Okay. If William, uh, Williams Limited signs a $100, 12% four-month note. Okay. So with uh, an interest-bearing note, the amount of cash received when the note is issued is generally equal or equals to the note's uh, face value. So in this case, we just have to debit cash and then credit notes payable, $100,000. Okay, so take note of the interest rate or percentage here, mentioned 12%, four month note. So we will assume that 12% is uh, particularly for uh, the whole year payment, but the, because we only have a four month note, we have to only calculate until four months uh, on, let us say, payment. Okay, we will see the next illustration where we accrued interest. Okay, so uh, to record the interest or to calculate for the interest uh, payable in this case, because it's not yet uh, due. Okay, the due date will be first July. So interest will be payable. Now. We have $100,000 multiplied by 12% and then multiply by 4 over 12. As I mentioned to you, we will assume that 12% is uh, per year interest. So we have $4,000 here. Okay, so on uh, 30th June, we have debit interest expense and then interest payable credit, $4,000. Again, take note, the due date will be 1st July, not 30th June. So in this case, we haven't paid this interest so we will have to accrue all right so just another note in the in the 30th june financial statements the current liability section of the statement of financial position will include notes payable and interest payable okay with uh, notes payable having hundred thousand dollars and interest payable four thousand dollars so uh, in addition the interest expense will be reported 4,000 that will be under uh, statement of profit or loss. Now at maturity, I told a while ago, 1st July, so we need to pay, or Williams Limited in this case, we'll need to pay the face value of the note which is $100,000 plus the interest accrued on 30th June 2019. So the journal entry will be debit notes payable $100,000, interest payable $4,000 and cash $104,000. That's it. Thank you for listening to my recorded lecture. Hope you learned something.